money don't make no money. We are filling this lot up with concession trailers for you guys. Um, stay tuned. We got a lot of videos coming, a lot of product on the ground, ready to build, ready to go, ready for you to start making your own money and be your own boss. Look forward to talking to you soon. Until then, y'all be blessed. Morgan here again. We are at the uh, grounds of the dealership. I'm Lane Morgan. I'm the owner of Renowned Cargo Trailers. I want to introduce two MVPs, Austin King, aka the Concession King, and we got Jason Deans, the original JD. I I'm still trying to figure out who the OG is, but anyway, this is Jason Deans, JD. They do a phenomenal job with uh, Renowned Cargo Trailers, and today we are bringing in three uh concession trailers barbecue trailers every day we're trying to bring three to five new trailers in the lot we can't keep these things guys they are moving so fast and you know you can find us on renowncargotrailers.com on the web and also our new website we've just launched it concessiontrailer.com so guys we're all over the place um we look forward to earning your business next but today we're going to talk about three different trailers and the first one we're going to talk about is this bright electric yellow barbecue trailer. This is an eight and a half by 20 trailer. It's got a six foot porch. It's got a 14 foot enclosed box. And what most people do with these trailers is barbecue. Um, that's what the six foot porch is for. You can put your own smoker on the back in a second. We'll show you the gate that opens up in the rear and you put your smoker on there, bolt it down and cook your pork. And I got a real special today. Not only do we sell trailers, I also got a, where's it at? A hog I'll sell you for 29 cents a pound, son. 29 cents a pound. This could be the first, first pig you smoke on that dang new smoker of yours and make a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, I had to pick on Jason. He didn't know I was going to do that, but I just had to wing it one time. But I'm going to let Austin show you this trailer, and then I'm going to let Jason walk around the next guys, one. So like Wayne right, said, guys. this is going to be an eight and a half by 20 barbecue porch, and it does have a six foot porch on it. If you'll notice the first thing we're going to look at right here is your concession window. This is a three by five, two bay concession window that you're going to serve out of, take your order, and it's going to keep the bugs and keep the cool inside, keep the bugs out, all right? They did a flat front. So whenever you do a flat front, you can actually do an ATP generator platform. So that's where you put your generator at, keep it out of the way so you don't have to lug it from the back of your truck everywhere. So it does have a generator platform in the front. Up here, it's got basically your ATP front corners on your flat front, and this is an 030 yellow. What it is is semi-screwless, so it's actually just screwed on the seams. It's not screwed on your middle studs. That helps it lay flatter, so the sun, when the sun hits a trailer with a screw, it makes a wave, a wrinkle, and impression. So less screws, the less impressions, less weight. Don't like a tater chip bag, okay? On this barbecue trailer, it does have 5,200 pound drop axles, okay? So it does have a little bit more of a beefier axle for your big smokers and stuff that you will be putting inside of this trailer. This six foot porch, what we have is this is a six foot ATP covered porch. All right, it's a barbecue porch and it does have a half rail system. It's half wall rails, okay? Back here in the back, you've seen on some of these concession um, barbecue trailers that we've been showing you, it's a removable gate. So you can remove this gate and sit a barbecue, um, like a big old smoker up back here. Whatever you need, this will come off, okay? This is the side, this is gonna be your gate to get in and out of, all right? So this is your entry gate. So this will just give you access to your porch. Everything's trimmed out in this ATP, so everything's ATP, it just looks nice, give a little bit of flavor with this yellow, because it's very bright, okay? Inside this trailer, we're gonna start off with our finished interior. We have white metal walls, white metal ceiling, and of course our flooring. This flooring is a RTP, which is a rubber tread plate flooring. Um, it covers up your plywood so you can clean it. You can mop it, you can clean it, you can, you know, it's water resistant, okay? Also, if you'll notice on these white metal walls, they got them screwed, just looks good. And also at the same time, I tell everybody that gets a concession trailer with white metal walls, you can ride on that with an Expo, and just erase it off. Works very good. You'll notice inside of this trailer, there is a bunch of plug-ins that I'm looking at, okay? So it has an electrical package. 50 amp, a 50 amp panel box, 25 foot lifeline. It does have a motor base in the front, so it's not a rack hole that you have to dig out through the bottom of the trailer. So you just plug in and power it on. Here, your electrical package comes with two resets. It does have extra. In this trailer, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six resets inside of this trailer, so you can add as many as you like. 
as well as you can add as many locks as you like if you built your own. But this one, you got two LED lights, a couple extra recepts. This right here is gonna be a 13.5 BTU AC. So it does have a heat strip in it. If you really wanna stay warm, put you a baseboard heater or something inside, but it does have an AC, all your electrical you need. Up here we have a base cabinet as well as an overhead cabinet. Now, you have to pass code, so you can drop your own sinks in here. Um, if you give me three weeks, three and a half weeks, I can drop sinks in it for you, okay? But this is one that is ready to be plumbed out. It's just basically cabinetry and storage right at this second until you do put your water pack again. But a three compartment sink and a hand wash, this is what it drops into. Up here is more storage, overhead cabinets. So you can put your soap or whatever you need inside. We got your 110 lights. All right, so guys, we'll head outside and take a peek around the rest of the trailer and we'll move on to the next ones. All right, you guys, so we're on the other side of this trailer. As you'll notice, it does have your 36 inch side door. So it does have a 36 inch RV style lock. It's got a cam lock as well as a door handle lock. This will keep the people from accessing your trailer. On the back, the same thing, a 36 inch door on that porch. Up here in the front, we got an extended tongue. That's how you're gonna do your generator platform. So it's got an extended tongue with a six inch mainframe, ready for you to be cooking. All right. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna take a look at them two seven wires that we brought as well. And we'll pass this one off to Mr. Jason. Guys, the next trailer we're gonna show you is a seven by 16. It is black, 040 metal. It's got a semi-screwless exterior. I'm gonna let Jason, AKA Hog JD, show you this one. He used to be in the restaurant business, had some pizza restaurants. Uh, he's an asset for our company. He knows a lot about concession trailers. So when, he, when we brought him on, he taught me stuff. So guys, you're never uh, too wise to learn, and I've learned a lot from this man, but I'm gonna let him show you around the rest of the trailer. The six by three concession window right here. Like you said, it's got the black 040 metal, 12 inch ATP along the side and rear. This has got the double doors on the back. 48 inch side door with a 15 by 30 window in it. You wanna go in and check it out? Inside we got a uh, black and white checkerboard floor. Got a three compartment sink, hand washing sink, the electrical panel right here. And everybody knows in the restaurant business you gotta wash, rinse, and sanitize. So that's what that's for right there. And this is where we store your water tanks, guys. These are some cabinets down here, but that's where your fresh water tank is. Your hot water heater, um, it's an instant hot water heater, so it's gonna continue to flow. Never gonna run out of hot water right there. You've also got your electrical package is gonna run your 110 lights up here. Um, your 13.5 air conditioner with heat strips. And then we finished the interior out with white metal walls and like Jason said, the checkerboard floor. And uh, we've got plenty of receptacles for you to plug into. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total receptacles for you to plug into. Again, we've got a 15 by 30 slider, horizontal, I mean vertical window right here. So on a hot day, you can open that up, leave the screen down, catch the flow. And also open up the barn doors, uh, Austin. And why, why I like doing these trailers right here with barn doors, I don't care what equipment you got to move in and out of these, there is plenty of room. You've got actually six and a half foot of width that you can slide any kind of equipment you want to in this trailer. So guys, this is a beautiful trailer. I believe this trailer is seven foot interior height. Seven and a half interior height. So you can put whatever kind of commercial grade freezer or refrigerator in it as well. The next one we're gonna show you, one more thing I wanna show you on this one is um, we, we, we've got the LED strip lights on the back so people can see you coming up from behind. Also, this one's got some mag wheels on it. We call those spider mags, they look good, especially on black trailers, but uh, it's got an extended tongue on it as well. Remember, 5,200 pound axles. So I don't care what you're trying to put in that trailer, that trailer weighs 2,100 pounds uh, with nothing in it. You got the 5,200 pound axles, so you can ha uh, you can haul let's see, 8,000 pounds in there. You can ha haul 8,000 pounds, so you can put whatever you want in that trailer. Extended triple tube tongue. Somebody could put a platform on there with a small generator, or and here's where your generator is going to plug in. You got a motor base plug. A 50 amp cord, it's just like on a camper, guys. It twists and locks. You plug it in, and that's what's gonna power your trailer, or you can plug into a shoreline if you're at a carnival or somewhere that's got, or you can install your own shoreline if you're not gonna be moving all the time. Um, that's probably what I'd do if it was gonna be stationary. 
All right, you guys, so we're gonna walk around this one first and then we'll go on the inside. What we have here is gonna be a seven by 16. It does have, you know what it is, the 080 polycore exterior, multi-polymer sheet compressed with a thin piece of aluminum coating. That takes out the wave. There's no more tater chip looking stuff with this, okay? It don't look like a tater chip bag. It's real smooth. Also, you'll notice on this 080, what they did was they went semi-screwless. Basically semi-screwless, you're screwing the seam, you're leaving the two middle studs glued. Well, that does take some pressions out of the trailer. So 080 polycore. You'll also notice on this trailer, they did do ATP fenders instead of your smooth Jeep fenders. These are ATP, artificial tread plate and press. So that does have that. As well on this trailer is all the, both of the other ones. It does have 5,200 pound axles. They are drop axles. Um, you can tow the load. Like Lane was saying, like 8,000 and something pounds. Okay, you can tow the load inside of this thing. Right here we have a 32 inch side door. So it's not a 36, it's a 32 inch side door. It's gonna be to access the trailer more easily than going through the barn doors. Um, and we'll finish walking around and I'll walk right in. Here. Also, we have our field center. So in our water package, we have a city field center. So this is where you would open it up. You have a direct flow to the tank and we have a direct flow from a water hose, okay? So that is your water package, as well as you have your dump valve down there at the bottom. So that's where you're gonna dump all your waste water. We got our motor base, so inside when you check it out, you're gonna notice we did an electrical package. This is a motor base, it's the upgrade from a rat trap where you have to climb up under your trailer and get that cord out. That's the way to go, a motor base when you get an electrical package. On this trailer, it is a flat front, so it does have an extended tongue here. Plenty of room for you to put a generator platform with a good size generator up there, so it does have an extended tongue on it. Flat front, ATP front corners. That 080 Polycore again just looks great. Um, right here, we have a three by six window, so you'll notice this one is a three bay window. All right, as well, we have our we have our six by 12 inch, um, basically fold shelf. You can put ketchup, mustard, you can put the plate down while you're grabbing the money. This is gonna be very versatile in a bunch of different scenarios. Yep, pops down easy just like that. Right. If we first started on this trailer, it does have barn doors. So, like Lane was saying on the other trailer, barn doors makes it very easy accessible for the appliances, for the food, whatever you need to put in here, you got a big entry door to do so, all right? We're gonna climb on in this thing. And you'll notice on the inside, we got our finished interior. So, our finished interior is gonna be our white metal walls, our white metal ceiling, and they went with the black and white checkerboard vinyl floor. Now, um. You can actually feel this floor. It's actually pretty soft. It wouldn't be bad to work on all day, all right? So there's your finished interior. In this trailer, I was showing you the motor base plug in the front of the trailer. So yes, this trailer does have an electrical package. It has two 110 overhead LED lights. So that's gonna be powered off your generator or your shoreline, as well as it comes with two resets. On this one, we do have a couple extra. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven resets in here, all right? So they did a total of five extra resets. So we got resets, we got our windows right here. If you'll notice on these trailers, I really love these windows. There's all kind of different style windows from Elixir, um, all kind of different ones. Well, these actually has like a little tension knob right here. You got like a piece of carpet on the back side, So you don't have to, most windows, you know, you pull and you open and shut. These are very, like very simple. Okay, you just tighten that thing down. You can lift it up. You just put your tension on it. All right, so we got our windows, our serving windows. They do have screens as well. You can leave that screen up or pull it down. In the top of this trailer, we have a 13.5 BTU AC. It does have a heat strip. I can tell everybody that heat strip gives you a little bit of heat. It's not much. So if you really want it to be warm, buy you some baseboard heaters. That will take you a long way. In this trailer, you'll notice we do have, excuse me, our three compartment sink and our hand wash sink. So this is what you're gonna need to pass code. So you got your three compartment sink, comes with all your little drains. This right here is gonna be your hand wash. All right, so this is where you're gonna wash your hands and this is gonna pass code for you. Up here we got a panel. This is a 50 amp panel box. Um, basically just got your breakers and stuff. It does have extra spots. If you ever did add something, you have room inside of that 50 amp, we go big. So you can always add stuff in the future. Right here, this is gonna be for our water pump. So I really like how they do this. They put a switch on their water pump. Some people, they'll actually just have a water pump in there and it'll run all the time on your electrical package when it's plugged up. I like this a whole lot better. It just takes some wear and tear off. It ain't running all the time, okay? That's very neat, I like that. All right. Also, down here, this is just gonna be your plumbing. So, you got your fresh water tank, your hot water heater, your water pump, all that good stuff in here to roll, okay? So guys, y'all know who to call when it comes to food trailers, concession trailers, barbecue trailers, any kind of trailer, race car trailer. If it's got to do with a uh, trailer, Renown Cargo is the place to call. Guys, we look forward to talking to you soon. Can't wait to earn your business and want to tell you something. If you don't hear nothing else we've said in this video, we want to tell you today that Jesus loves you. Um, he changed all our lives. We collided with his love and have never been the same since. 
and this business has never been about a trailer. It's always been about people. We love you, and we hope that you collide with that same love that we did. All you gotta do is call out to him. He'll meet you right where he's at. Right where you at, guys. So anyway, we look forward to talking to you soon. And y'all know the rest? You wanna reach me? Yes. Uh, you might need our phone number, so, 188-287-3954, located off of Bowens Mill Highway here in Douglas, Georgia, 1135 Bowens Mill Road, Southwest, Douglas, Georgia. And as you know, if you know the rest, until then, y'all be blessed. Amen.